Welcome back to Alvaro's Garage. Today we'll be reviewing my 67 Plymouth Barracuda. Um, this is a Fastback Formula S model, which I purchased a couple years ago, I actually don't remember, uh, about two years before my our wedding. So it's one of my, my budget builds. I, I bought this soon after we bought our house and I was saving money for our wedding. So I had to do everything on the cheap and the goal was to use this car for our wedding, which we did. Um, gave us a little bit of a issue towards the end. Uh, ended up a, a carburetor float. Um, I guess needle and seat got stuck, so the float bowl overfilled and kind of flooded the engine on our way home from our wedding. So made for a memorable adventure. Um, soon after that, I went to fuel injection. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I, when I purchased this car, um, this is a, again pretty rough shape. I think it's the best way to buy a car. It's, it's you know cheaper that way and it's pretty fun to build. Um, so there were some body um, issues. There's a dent in the door. Um, the rear quarter panel was replaced. Um, imagine there's a wreck in the past. Uh, no frame damage, but the rear quarter panel was replaced and it wasn't quite done. So I had to kind of add filler and finish off the merging with the actual body of the car with the replacement um, quarter panel. Uh, after that, I ended up painting the car. Um, again, since I was doing this on a budget, I used boat paint um, and rolled it on. So it was a interesting adventure. Um, I read on the forums which type of paint to use and rolled it on and you know, from you know, five, ten feet away, the, the car looks beautiful. Um, once you go in closer, you start to see kind of the, the imperfections of the paint. I'm not sure you can capture that on camera, but there's some, you know, little, little kind of water or orange peel type, uh, type marks. Uh, so the engine is a 273 small block. Um, this is a high performance high compression engine, which is still uh, pretty low performance by today's standard. Uh, I did replace the lifters and the cam to try to give it a little bit more pep. It has a Fitech fuel injection setup. Um, I kind of ported the intake manifolds. So port intake manifold, fuel injection, uh, move wood, brake cylinder, uh, dual diaphragm brake booster, MSD ignition um, distributor. Uh, so I have Fitech controlling the timing. So the distributor is locked out and phased for that. Uh, new radiator, alternator. Um, trying to make it a reliable car. Um, I did rebuild the transmission, added a shift kit. Um, partially rewired most of the car. Um, for example, I used relays for the fan and headlights instead of using the factory switch to run the high current through there. So that'll make it a little bit more reliable. Uh, new windshield and the interior was the seats are original uh, they still have the dealer stickers uh, the build sheet on them but the interior was completely uh, poor condition uh, so all new carpet new door panels the gauge cluster was completely kind of repainted Um, retro radio, but again, a fuel pressure sensor gauge. The suspension has been gone through. 
Uh, new shocks, bushings, tie rods, etc. Um, the new recent addition is new uh, wheels and tires. So that's something uh, took a while to kind of get sized and and fitted, but I'm still running the small bolt pattern, so I had to get them custom drilled for, for this vehicle. So we got the key so I can open the trunk. So new trunk mat on the carpet. I did put a subwoofer in the rear um, along with some speakers on the sides. Um, plastic dip, the bumpers and most of the chrome. Um, still kept some of the side trim chrome but the hood vents and bumpers were plastic dip black along with the front grill. So it's been a fun little project. Uh, besides the kind of leaving us stranded during our wedding day, it's been fairly reliable. We took it on our wedding anniversary up the coast of California. We did about maybe 300 miles and all went well, brought us home uh, and it was a fun trip. Uh, actually the differential by the time we got home was making a little whiny noise and it looks like the, the bolt holding the The pinion shaft had actually worked its way loose, so the then play inside the differential was a little off. But I redid that, and other than that, it's been fairly reliable. The fuel system's all new, new fuel tank, hard lines, soft lines, same thing with the brake systems, new hard lines and soft lines. Try to make it something reliable, something my wife can drive around and not have to worry about it breaking down on her. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a fun little car. I'm debating whether I should build a 408 stroker for it or, you know, maybe turbocharge the little small block um, 273 and see how that goes. But we'll see. For now, we've just been trying to drive it and enjoy it. So it's been. So let's fire it up and give it a listen. There's the Flytech display, fuel pressure sensor. So, hope you enjoyed the walk around of my 1967 
Plymouth Barracuda. Thank you for watching and uh, take care.